everyone, a very happy Diwali from us all at Dell's Kitchen. Today, I'm dressed specially for you in a sari, and which is why I'm going to show you two easy recipes because I don't fancy cooking heavy stuff in a sari. The two dishes I'm showing you is one is a Parsi one called Mardi Nare Sapar Idu, and a vegetarian one which is cauliflower rice. And now, because I don't eat a lot of rice, I prefer to kind of eat my curries and my stir fry, whatever I'm cooking with vegetables. And this particular one is really, really superb. So let's start first by doing the chicken dish and then I'll show you how to do the cauliflower. Now, I've got some oil in a non-stick frying pan on the hob to which I'm going to add two finely chopped onions. So let's switch on the hob again and just gonna pour the onions in. Now as Parsis, we love to have everything with eggs on top of it. You name it, Sari Paridu being the most popular, we have Bida Paridu, Tamata Paridu, Papita Paridu, Kanda Paridu, Kothumi Paridu, although I've not tasted that one. Um, so we also can use meats and the lamb one is especially nice because lamb is more flavoursome but I have found that chicken works just as well which is why I thought I'd show you one with shredded chicken with eggs on top. Now the recipe is for two people and you need one onion but I have taken two onions because I'm going to divide half the fried onions for the cauliflower rice so I'm just kind of multitasking. So let's have a look at how the onions are doing and I would actually like to have them caramelized so a little bit brown for more flavour. I have one whole breast of roast chicken. So let's shred this chicken really really well. And the mixture I'm making which is with onions and the spices and tomatoes is exactly like how you would make bhuji or akuri. Okay, so we've achieved the colour that we are after, the light brown caramelly colour for the onions. And I'm going to remove half of this for the cauliflower rice, which I will show you later. Now, make sure that you lower the flame to low. And the first thing you're going to put in this pan is a teaspoon of fresh ginger garlic paste, because you just want to cook that raw taste of ginger and garlic. I don't know about you, but something about ginger, garlic and onions just, it's so pleasant and heavenly. Okay, very simple spices, stop spice. Okay, so very simple spices go in here. Obviously, it's my favourite Parsi sambar that we need to put in. So, we've got one four teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of chilli powder, one teaspoon of Parsi sambar and one teaspoon of coriander powder. So, let's, let's put all of these spices in. To give it a minute for the spices to kind of blend with the onions, to which I'm going to add one finely chopped large tomato. We now have to just wait for these um, uh, tomatoes to break down completely and become like a pasty mix. So let's now raise up the heat and let it just kind of stew in the tomato juice. Now, before I add salt to this mix, I'm very experimental with my cooking. So, I like to use different tastes and different spices or sauces. And I'm going to add just a few drops of Worcestershire sauce. I'm glad I said that properly. And like one tablespoon of hot and sweet sauce, Maggie's. I'm sure everyone has this. It, it just kind of lifts up the mix. That's it. So I'm just going to try this first before I put the salt and then add it accordingly. Okay, so we need like half a teaspoon of salt and it's also time to put in your shredded chicken. There we go. Now all we have to do is give this a proper mix. Now I normally use coriander just for garnish but I think we can even put a little bit of the coriander in the chicken itself. There we go. Let's just mix this. So 
time to give some character to this dish. Now, see how easy this was. So, I'm gonna break three eggs. And although I said this is for two people, we always like an extra egg, just in case. Uh, before I break the eggs, I'm just going, going to make like three indentations in your chicken mix, like this. Now, there's no need to put salt on the eggs, but there is a need for some cheese. So I'm going to grate some cheese straight away on the eggs itself. Some more coriander. And all we need to do is shut the lid and let it cook for five minutes. Now, I like my yolk soft, so I'll just keep checking to make sure that it doesn't harden. So five minutes should be it, I need to come back. Okay, so while the eggs are cooking on the chicken, um, I'm going to start with the cauliflower rice. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, you need a chopper like this. And by chopper, I mean it's not your mixer that you use at home for your masalas or paste because that will just make it mush. You actually need something called a chopper. Now this is just a Kenwood chopper that I use and it's very, very convenient for chopping things into fine consistency. So I'm just going to break the leaves off of this cauliflower and then just cut the big stem off first to make it easier. So basically as you go along just kind of rip off your cauliflower, uh, your little florets from the cauliflower head and just keep as many as you can in the chopper that you can fit. Don't overload it. Step number two. Let's switch on the blender and mince the florets. And the beauty of this chopper is you can control it as much as you want to either make it fine or keep it big pieces. So, just keep watching. Give it a shake. Yeah, and we're done. There we go. Now for this, it's good to use a non-stick wok-like pan to kind of hold your cauliflower rice. So on medium heat, I've got like 100 ml of oil warming up. So to start with, I'm going to fry a bit of curry leaves in the oil. And while you're sputtering, I'm going to even add like 100 grams of peanuts. Now, these are the only ones I could find. You could even keep salted peanuts, it doesn't really matter. And I've got two green chilies which I have just roughly chopped up. This is just your flavouring. Now, this doesn't need to fry too much. I'm going to add the onion that we first made before to this mix. I'm just going to lower the flame. And now, keep the cauliflower bits inside. Take a spatula, very handy. And just go over the jar and remove all the bits. Let's give this a good toss. Time to season it. So I'm just starting with half a teaspoon of salt. Because you don't really need a lot. And this dish has absolutely no spice because it's like rice you can have with, with your curries. You really don't want to put any spice in it. And I've given it a good five minutes just to cook. And it's delicious. The next thing I'm going to keep is two tablespoons of freshly grated coconut. And this will add a little bit of crunch and sweetness. This is just my version of cauliflower rice. You can make it as simple as you want with just cauliflower. Or you can just add the chilies or onion. You don't need peanuts, you can add peas. You can just work with it the way you like. And to this, I shall add spring onion and a bit of coriander. And you're pretty much done. Time to plate it up. As usual, I've done it exactly how I do it with my rice. And I'm just gonna tip it over. Let's not open it yet. 
want to show you the Margi Maresa for Idu. As always, we come to the best bit. Now, let's see the moment of truth. Ta-da! Okay, just a little bit of my own touch is a few pomegranate seeds. Just make it look pretty. So, let's see how that goes. And it's time now to break this pretty mound of cauliflower rice. I think this is the best cauliflower rice I have made. It's crunchy, it's sweet, it's got peanuts. We have the lovely juice of the pomegranates, coriander, chilies coming in. Uh, you can even put garlic if you want. And the chicken is perfect, perfectly spiced. You can taste the egg and a little bit of the cheese. I, I really hope you try this. And once again, hope you have a fantastic day and fantastic time at Diwali. And I wish that your table is always filled with food and you get gifts from your loved ones and you give gifts to your dear ones. Whichever way it works for you, have a fantastic Diwali and I'll see you again. Not in a sari next time, but I shall see you once again. Thank you as always.